Oh no, and welcome back to the Manchester United Career Mode, and it's me, Dan, back again, and today we are starting the second season today as uh, last well, last week we had three episodes up, guys, so if you didn't see them, go watch them. Uh, we pretty much, you know, finished off the first season, and now we're on to the second season. So, uh, just before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently, and I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers for subscribing so thank you guys for that so we're into the new season um obviously we do have a couple we do have quite a lot of money at the start anyway uh 308 million but you know me i normally i normally do use the uh uh cheat to get some more money um so yeah so that's what i've kind of done i've done it with um the uh, the right back um Alex Ale Axel uh, Twanzebe and I've got it for this guy Luke Ailing from uh, Leeds so I'm just gonna buy this guy quickly uh, just to start off uh, so he will be prospect so as you can see in the top right hand corner uh, the wage budget is up um yeah so this guy we will be releasing so don't worry about that um so we're just signing him just for the uh, money obviously. Um, so if you don't know what this glitch is, it's pretty much where you give a player um, your wages at the end of the season and then go into the new season and trade him away. And um, yeah, you, you pretty much get quite a lot. Um, so I'm already on 300 million as it is already, but you know, just to make it a bit more better. Uh, 1.7 billion is not too bad to have. Uh, so uh, also let's look at the board expectations for this season as well. Um, we've got to sign one youth player to the team apparently. Um, gain 100 of well, great shirt sales. Obviously, we've got to win the Champions League again. Uh, win the FA Cup. Win the league title, and nothing in financial. So pretty much the same old, same old uh, <laughs> with them things. So let's get rid of all this. Um, yeah, so let's look at the squad. So obviously, um, looking at the squad, we do need to do a couple things. Um, I'm going to loan out Pereira again, uh, just because, you know, I, I like to keep Pereira just in case, you know, either De Gea or uh, our new backup goalkeeper, which we'll, we'll, well, we'll get into the second team at next episode, guys. Um, but yeah, we're dealing with the first team uh, in this episode and then second team in the next episode. So look forward to that. Uh, Romero, we will be selling because he's 32. And, uh, yeah, obviously we need to sell him. Uh, Fosu Mensa, he's going to go back out on loan. He's 76, 21. I thought I'd keep Fosu Mensa over Twanzebe just because, you know, Fosu Mensa was a higher uh, overall. So I'm going to loan out Fosu Mensa. Luke Ailing will be released uh, for 3 million, which is not too bad, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, we're going to obviously keep um, Skrinir and Umtiti and Lindelof. I'm not too sure whether to keep Lindelof or not. He hasn't really grown that much. I know he's grown up to an 80, but he's 24 and there's better uh, centre-backs out there. So I might switch. I might try and swap him for a better centre-back. Uh, same with Chris Smalling. I think I'm going to swap Chris Smalling for someone as well. So they, those two will be going. Obviously, going to keep Luke Shaw. Uh, we're going to swap Manamania Matic for someone in a second. Um, we'll do that. We're going to keep uh, Pereira, Pogba, obviously keep, Sanson, keep, Fred, obviously keep. McTominay, we'll out. Uh, I think I might just transfer this to McTominay, to be honest. I don't really plan to use him at all. So, yeah, I think I'll just transfer this to uh, McTominay. Um, yeah, Coman and Fakir, we'll get on to that in a second. Uh, Jess Lingard, yeah. Um, Gomez, I'll keep as well. I'm going to loan him out, so let's loan out that guy. And I think the rest is pretty much um, same old, same old. Right, so um, looking at the first team, obviously, um, one of the guys, two of the guys are, who I said uh, last episode was we will going to start was we are going to sign is uh, Mbappe and Milinkovic Savic. So let's go and do that. So. Um, I'm just going to see if we can, you know, uh, just do a straight swap with uh, Matic and Milinkovic Savic. If I can get him up straight away, that would be... Oh, yes, we can. There we go. So, he's 24. I think he... Yeah, I was going to say he's either 88 or 87, um, if I remember correctly. I did have a look just a minute ago before I started. So, uh, Milinkovic Savic, let's try and get him in. So, let's uh, approach the buy. 
and see if we can get him. He's actually a really good player in this game. Um, in the last game, he wasn't. He wasn't. Um, he wasn't that good. Uh, he's like really. He was like really slow, and yeah, he just. It just wasn't worth getting him. But in this game, it is worth getting him. And as as you can see, they do want him because the transfer sum comes up underneath Matisic's name. And 81 million, yeah, we're fine with that. So, Milinkovic Savic, you will be joining our team, guys. So, let's look forward to him. So, obviously, he wants Crucial. Wow, okay. Uh, wouldn't expect that. It's Crucial. That's fine. Um, contract length, five years, as he's only 24. Yep, I uh, don't want the release clause. And um, let's get rid of that bonus and submit offer. Yep, so there we go. He we, he wasn't... Yeah, we got him anyway for how much he is. So let's put him into that team now. Um, so where are you? So uh, Milinkovic, Savage can go there. Fred can go back in there. And then Pereira can go out. And then El Shirari can go in there. Um, yeah, so let's save changes to that. So, on to the next one, which is Mbappe. Um, now, obviously, we signed Komen in January. I was thinking about um, maybe keeping Komen and Martial and then just bringing in um, uh, Mbappe for, you know, one of the better... Well, you know, one for a better player. But, um, actually, I might keep Komen, actually. Um, obviously we're going to put um, Jesse Lingard here. We could swap El Shawari and then bring in someone different. I'm not too sure. Hang on. Um, let's put El Shawari in there. Um, I'm trying to think. who Who's missing from this side? Oh, Milinkovic Savic. Uh, actually, he can stay out. That's fine. Um, yeah, so we could... You know, put Komen here and then, you know, play him with Rashford and Lingard on this on this uh, team. Which I might actually do. I might see if they want El Shirari. But if they don't want El Shirari, I probably will swap Komen for him. So, um, yeah. So, what the plan was, um, I was either going to swap Komen or Martial for Mbappe. And as you, as you can see, Martial is 85, whereas Komen is 84. Um, you know, I could train up Komen as well, but I think it will be Komen. Well, I'll try El Shirari first, but if uh, if Mbappe, if, um, what's their name, don't want them. If, um, yeah, if, oh, I can't speak. If uh, PSG don't want El Shirari, then I'll maybe try Komen. Uh, right, so let's approach to buy Mbappe. So obviously, you guys wanted Mbappe uh, last season, but I brought in Komen, which is uh, why I did that. So wingers, let's try El Shirari. It's going to be a no, I don't think. Yeah, it's a no. So they want a fullback, centre back, or a goalkeeper. Um, okay, uh, let's offer them. We could give them Smalling because we need. Well, actually, they're pretty much the same, aren't they, Victor Lindelof and Smalling? Because we need to get rid of one of each. But do you know what? I, just, I think I'll just buy. Um, I think I'll just buy Mbappe as it is. So it'd probably be 120 million or something like that. 120 million? Yeah, there we go for Mbappe. That's not too bad. So we will have to put. Um, Either, well, I'll put a price up for El Sh I'll, I think I'll sell El Shawari, I think. Um, and then, obviously, yeah, just list of offers for him, which I'll do in a second. So, uh, let's do five years for Mbappe, which is fine. Um, let's disregard release clause, and he wants a bit of a bonus, but we'll get rid of that bonus. Uh, he wants 150k, which is fine. We've got plenty of money. So there we go. We have signed Mbappe and Milinkovic Savic. So um, let's put him into the side. So Komen, out you come. And El Shawari can go there. And then El Shawari can come out of the squad. And Mbappe, you will go there. So we do have to sell and loan out quite a few people. Um, which hopefully I can do that uh, within, you know, within the simming. Um, 
so off screen i'm just gonna you know go for all the players and say like block offers and stuff like that so um but there is one person that we will have to sell i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna try and keep coman uh because he's a good he's a good player and i think he'll be good on that uh second team so um yes so who do we yeah let's uh, sell add to transfer list let's sell el shuari and um yeah we'll listen to, we'll listen for offers later on uh but uh, anyway guys i think i'm actually gonna end it here for today uh next episode we shall sort out the uh second team where we shall look at uh pretty much two new center backs a goalkeeper and um pretty much it really uh for that second team because obviously coma will be going there and then um let's take out uh, El Shuari there and put Mbappe in and uh, we could loan him out El Shuari to be honest um, but yeah we'll look at that um, that is my dog <laughs> sorry about that guys um, uh, yeah so we all should look forward to that so anyway guys I'm actually going to end here so please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time so right I'm going bye I oh, know guys thank you for watching my video Hit me up on Twitch and Twitter and don't forget to watch the playlist down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.